Okay, what's next? Um, this one's the closest. Okay. Uh, is this? Oh, I can enter. Okay, looks a bit weird. It's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally, <gasps> I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American! <laughs> I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I. I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Art is lies. But it's a vagina. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that is true. Trust me. I have tried both. One is better. Much <laughs> better. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Oh. Uh, you know. Entirely worthless unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Thank you. Oh, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. How about you go get a new horse? I want to get a new horse. Okay. Let's see. Should I, should I splurge? I'm gonna splurge. Okay, I'm gonna name you Doc. Oh shit, you can have a mohawk? Hell yeah, he's gonna have a mohawk. Can I? Okay, he can. Okay, wait. Mohawk, a different it's color. Nice to Let's go. Wait, but doesn't he, maybe it looks old. Oh, whatever. No, not whatever. No, it only just looks stupid. Red. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks cool. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go, dog. Anyone who would have a horse like this is probably not well in the head. Well, I am. Well. Thanks. Do I go to the tailor? No, nah, it's too early. It's too early. Let's go to Dutch. There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. Better like this. You're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Kishon <laughs> So. You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking <laughs> like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? My trip is cool. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo okay. Brock. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, how about this? You perform a simple job for me. Simple. And you get your son back. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? Do you trust one world? <laughs> no, fuck no. Mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. I look at the moon. Oh. That is oh my god, I'm not doing Finally anything. Get the hell out of here. Someone ran. <laughs> what the fuck? Get a job over here. You boys found my puppies, watch it! Oh shit. Really? Hey, where are you running? Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Okay. Damn, the law's here. Shit. Come on, let's see if that gate's up. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Beep, 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 beep. Whoosh. <laughs> How convenient. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Oh. Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. I'm glad the kids you know, are here. Arthur, 
Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> um, I don't know if I like that. We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> it's how <Italian> you <laughs> Did you ever eat that? <laughs> You're <so beautiful. laughs> Is this my room? A letter has arrived. Okay. My dear Arthur. <gasps> I hope this letter finds you well. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Interesting, yeah, I did want to see more of her in this game, so I'm definitely excited for that. What is this? Okay, let's go to Mary Beth. Arthur. Hello, hey. Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. Uh, she didn't love me enough, I guess. No. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken oh. by them foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Okay. Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said Ooh. your last word. What the hell? What the hell? Ooh. Kick the fucking door. Oh. I, 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 I couldn't get my gun out. I thought there was. Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. Let's go. Oh, come along, miss. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, oh shit. That gun. shit. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Come on, lady. All right, get after them. Yeah. Please, this is not the time to be freaking out, horse. Why are you so slow? <gasps> no, this is not happening. Why, 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 why? Okay, nice and slow. Let's go. Catch up with them. Oh shit, we're right here. Lasso him? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> fucking throw it! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. What? Tie him up, bro. Checkpoints, come on. Come on, it's gonna be first try. Oh shit, oh shit. That doesn't count. That th that was not me. Ooh! Look, I'm so good at this. Jesus Christ, man. Fuck you. Alright, it's the next day. Where do we go? This is like a main quest. I don't want to do that yet. I do want to talk to Mary. I can also want to see what Strauss wants. So he's closer, so I'll go to him first. This is filthy work. We need money in Australia. Living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. Their union built on that, you know. Okay. Whoa, 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 what's going on? 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 What was that? What's... Um... We'll go around. Yeah, we'll go around. 
That scared me. Like, that genuinely scared me. It was like pulling my horse. Uh. Alright. This is there the place. It's locked. Because of the time. Why is the music like this? Oh. There's people over there. Wait, what? Why are they... They're bounty hunters! Are they here for me? How about I snipe them? Okay. <gasps> Holy shit! Fuck you, bitch! Whatever, it's locked for now. Guess let's go to Mary. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> really? I really have to pay off this bounty, huh? God damn. Oh shit, shit. Oh, <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? Why did they get a whole fucking army to get me? Oh, hey. Hello there, pleased to see you. Yeah, man. Clear this right up for you. All right. Now, do we go to her or do we check out what's in the tailor? We want to look good. Let's see what they have. I want to get minus a hundred. <gasps> oh, you little shit! Come back here. Run away! Run away! Why are you walking so slow? Run away! Be scared! Yeah! Better be. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh man, you really don't have anything new, do you? God damn it. Oh, wait, have these been here before? Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, these are so cute! Oh my god, really? Thank you. But are they cowboyish enough? Yes, this green one is speaking to well, me. Saying, but you look right handsome in that. Thank you. Oh. I only stock the best in my shop. Did he go outside or something? Why did it why did his voice start to be muffled? Oh, a tie. No, we don't want to try too hard, okay? We want to be casual. You know, we're making an effort, but not too much, right? Alright, now we go to Mary. Let's go. Arthur! Ah! Up here! <laughs> it's okay, Arthur, I dressed you up. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh. oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening <laughs> decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save daddy? Uh, yeah. Come along, then. How can I not? Uh... Where are we going? He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? <laughs> he said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, oh, well, I don't know. You don't know what? So, what do you think of my horse? Yeah, he's got a mohawk. And it's red. Uh, his name is Dog. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. Oh, this is actually where I got him. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you 
can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. If you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You're as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Oh, great. Okay. You've been real sneaky. Hold on. You can see why Ooh. I have such a high opinion of yourself. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Yeah, thank you, sauce. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my what god! Did to I didn't say a thing, insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Family heirloom. Oh, that was my mother's Family brooch. Family. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. It's not a piece to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Hey, you asking. Hold her right there. Oh, come on. Come on, dog. Why are you so fast? Hell yeah. Bye, buddy. Bye, bye. Ooh. Give Leave me the me brooch. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. Bought it fair and square. Let me buy it from you. For? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred. A hundred. What do you take me for? I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not uh, good enough, Ashton. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Okay. Let's go back. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want us to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Hey. What are you doing now? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Hmm. Head to the theater, perhaps. Oh, uh, hell yeah. After you. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women you are about to do both stop it <laughs> oh I'm weirdly like mesmerized, even though it's just the game. Amazing. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. I 
amazing. <laughs> Thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Uh. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I. If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me. Oh. Run away right now and don't look back. Oh my back. god, don't do this to me. I want to. More than anything I want to. Oh. But I've got some people I need to take care of. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. And I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. I'll write you. Yeah. Man. What did I say to you? The, the clothing worked. She was impressed. That's what I'm saying, dude. Okay. How's it? I love that theater performance. Someone had to animate all that. <laughs> that was so fun. Right, I can't find Dutch. So I'll just go to Hosea. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, there he is. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. Ooh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Uh -oh. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. How fancy. Ah, the angry cowboys, you arrived. And you've washed for la prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. See, that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well... We're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any mm. way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time yes 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 go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum it'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and spook cows out on the open range <laughs> <laughs> those sure were the days good day gentlemen mm, good day to you okay go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information okay so the no. mayor Mingle with the guests. Okay, this guy looks quite lonely. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry. Who do I talk to? Hello. Okay, you don't even want to talk to me. Hello. Oh, beautiful headpiece. Headpiece. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. I will I will never. 
Have a nice day. Night, evening. Oh, hey. No, oh, sorry. Alright, time. Time to talk to this man. Hey! It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man. This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, Kula? My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. <laughs> There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Shall we? Oh. 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 Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad <laughs> horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Find out what. Me? Hello. Oh my god, beautiful. I'm good. How are you? Yes, yes, quite a Is night. Oh. Uh, hello. We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Look at me. How could you think <gasps> you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Get out of my sight! What a dick! I'm gonna kill him. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Nice. Oh my god. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Alright. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Bon yep. Whatever. <coughs> Find another thing? I think so. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Yep. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think nope. so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. God damn, I don't like that Bronte dude. <laughs> Annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go to... Oh, no. Actually, Josiah is closer. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't Wait, play what? at the tables on a Lanahasi river boat looking like this. We're going to fix you up so fine, no one will notice a thing. I don't know how to play poker if I'm going to have to do that. Dude, I have never done that in my Hello. life. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Excellent. Fine. Well, you find all my like the duke he this? really is. Whoa. He looks real good in this. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. The barber. How do you want it to look? We want it to look fancy, right? Maybe swept back? I mean, what about the pomade, maybe? Pomade? Wins. Okay, I guess swept back, right? Like this? I don't know. <laughs> I like the longer hair on him. I don't mind it. Maybe just the pomade? Let's just do the pomade. Is this good? Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for you. Damn. Fancy. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Another one. 
Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. We'll make sure you get the right cards. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Okay. I will. Take a seat, sir. Okay. I think yeah. I hope you're a player. Didn't oh, too many cowards at these for tables. sure I am. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Okay. Chips already stacked up oh, waiting God. for me. I like this joint already. No, we no. We to please, sir. Which means fold. Oh, I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? Uh, Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Oh. Yes, it is. I thought about getting into hosiery, Yes, but yes. <sighs> Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Um. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. Did I win? I won! Thank you, Strauss. Yes, my luck hell. Is that you done? Done? Burst. I got a watch. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Excuse me. Okay. I just let's not waste any more time here. All in. All no in. Worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. All in. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hair kings. Very good, but <gasps> not good enough. Shit. I lost it all. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Little beauty. God damn you. No offense. <laughs> well played, sir. It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Follow me, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Come with me, sir. Okay. Okay. You're having quite the night. Uh, so I don't think there yeah, were any so other far. options to to do things, I right? I guess I was supposed to win automatically. <laughs> Still, I, I won. Don't reach for that gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I should have shot him in the head, but I did. Whatever, fuck that guy, actually. Never mind. I don't give a shit. Come on, you got a gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. That guy knows that he. Holy will. And we went up. Hello, sir. Don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, thanks. Bye. I'm dead. Where are we going? Oh, in here. <laughs> well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Come on, let's get out of here. City. Okay, let's just go here first. Hey. I know you, Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have at that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Mm. Unfortunately, so uh, can I say something rude? Sure, the mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it, he rather liked you. Can you steal things? Is there a reason <laughs> you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, Hello. we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. 
And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Mm -hmm. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but very I'm sick. a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Okay, then let's go back. How you doing, Mr. Settler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You can get me leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well, that depends if Thank you want you. a massacre or a payday. Well, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <gasps> Whoa. What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Holy the shit. Okay. Well, she seems to be good. Nice. So, except for Karen here. Oh, uh, my God. Poor kid. Come on now, work. Um, Sadie's covered in that man so much can blood. Really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm going to do this next time. There's so much shit that happened today. I think it's best to leave it for another time.